Hey everybody, Dark Young Link here with more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we did some stuff. We took down a bunch of people and met Bill, so... In this episode, we're gonna take down Misty. And Gary already fought her, but whatever. We'll, we'll beat her anyway. Now, this time we're gonna put Karen in front. So, you know, she's, she's, my, she's gonna be my water sweeper. Because electric water. And you can skip this guy if you want to, but I won't. I'll just be a, I'll be like whatever. <laughs> um so yeah, Swimmer Lewis is his name, and he's sitting on a horsey. So yeah. Thunder shock and it goes down in one hit, which is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. Sends out a shelter. Which I'm pretty sure is a water ice type. Unless it's just water when it's at its first evolution. I cannot remember for the life of me right now. Uh, and it, you have to fight this. If you skip that one guy, you have to fight this chick to get to Misty and unless you go to her side I didn't actually think about that but yeah whatever experience is experience right this Goldine is level 19 holy crap that's not good yeah it didn't go down in one hit but it's good enough and I got the para hacks which is pretty cool even if it was just some static but every little bit helps you know Uh, Karen Grew level 21. And we defeated Picnic or Diana. And now I want to heal Karen, but I don't actually. I only have a super potion. I meant to buy potions off screen. Whoops. Uh. Uh. I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the Pokemon Center real quick. And on my way there, I'm just gonna say, holy crap, this is the second video in a month. That's like a new record or something. I haven't done that in a long time. So, yeah. I just wanna let you guys know that hopefully, I'm, I'm gonna try, no promises, but I'm gonna try to at least upload one video a month. Just so I can, you know, get this game completed and stuff. I mean, I've been at this for like a year, so... That'll be fun. Though, life sometimes gets in the way of things. That's why I couldn't do anything for a year. Anyway, Misty. What is your approach to catch and train Pokemon? My policy is all out of offense with water-type Pokemon! Well, mine is offense with any kind of Pokemon I decide, as long as it gets stab or... You know... Thundershock! And it didn't necessarily go down in one hit, but Star used Harden, so it's only rose its defense, which isn't gonna help it at all. Uh, yeah. I hate when gym leaders restore their health because. It's one reason why I can't play um, full-out RPGs like Final Fantasy. Like, I hate when I get their health down to a lot, but then, you know, they heal themselves completely and... Oh crap, no! Karen! That's not good. Uh, go Jack! Uh, yeah, this isn't looking good. Uh, but yeah, I can't play Final Fantasy because I don't like how the bosses heal themselves, com like, almost completely when they have over, like, 100,000 health and whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm totally screwed unless Metal Claw can do something. No! Okay, so, 
Uh. Uh. Crap. I'm so screwed. Unless. Unless I go first. Nope. Nope. Oh. No. Well. Well, that's embarrassing. I totally just lost. Uh. Hmm. Um. Well, I was not prepared for that. That's really embarrassing. I probably should have grinded a little more before this episode started, but. I, I thought with I thought Karen could do it, but I guess not. So, uh, I guess I'm just going to train my Pokemon up now, and well, mainly Karen. If I level anyone else up, I'll let you know, but I doubt it. So yeah, I'll be back in a little bit, and I'm back, and I'm in front of Misty. So, yeah, I trained Karen up to level 23, and I didn't train up the other two just because, you know, I'll train them up when I get the chance. It's just, I needed Karen up the most. So, yeah, next time I fight a gym leader, I'm probably gonna, like, grind horribly off screen so I don't have to endure that again. If I don't fail this time, anyway, I mean, I don't know. Sorry you went down in one hit this time. That's not too bad. Um It's just this darn star me. Except not really. I mean I remember the first time I ever played Pokemon, it was the original red. And I chose Char Charmander as my starter. And I I didn't have any other Pokemon, so I literally took Misty down with a Charmander and a Butterfree. And I won! Yeah, I, I don't, I, even to this day, I don't know how I did it. I, I found my Pokemon Red cartridge about a month or two ago. And yeah. Yeah, I had like a level 73 Charizard or something, and the rest of my team was no higher than 20. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if you saw, we got the Cascade badge, and we can use Cut outside of battle, but we don't have the TM for Cut yet, which I had to check, but... And we also got Water Pulse, which is an okay move if it gets the confusion, I mean... I'm, I'd rather have, you know, a Burn or a Poison or something, but Confusion helps too if it hits. Um, so, continuing... Let's see. What else do we have to do? Um, we're gonna go up here. The people here were robbed. It's obvious Team Rocket is behind it. Even our police is having trouble with them. Okay, well. He's right there. Dude, he's right there. What the heck, dude? Fine, I'll take care of him myself. Jeez. Team Rocket was trying to dig their way into no good. Ha! Dig their way into no good. Because they, they still dig. Oh, that's funny. To make your sand shrew. That'll cost him a bundle, apparently. Though, who buys TMs except in the newer generations? I'm an innocent bystander, don't you believe me? No. No, I don't. I I really don't. I mean, if I if I were black with a red R on it, I'm sure everyone else would think I'm part of Team Rocket. Or they think I'm crazy, but either way. Uh, so yeah, Jack is obviously the man for the job here because he, uh, yeah. He used Focus, uh, oh, I forget what he just used, but Focus Up or something, whatever. It, in the original game, that move was actually really messed up. In the game, it, cri it boosts critical hit ratio. It, cri it, uh, it boosts your critical hit ratio, but in the in the original game, it didn't do that. It messed up or something. Anyway, here we have a drowsy. It's like an anteater elephant thing. 
and it's a psychic type, which I have nothing good against here, which is not good, but no big deal. I actually, I actually kind of like Drowsy, but eh, at the same time, not really. He's one of those Pokemon that I want to beat, that I would have used a long time ago, but eh. For Psychic type, I'd still probably go with a Kadabra. I would say Alakazam, but you have to trade with someone, and I never had anyone to trade with, so I never had anything higher than a Kadabra. And that guy gave me the TM for Dig! Woo! And I think... It only has 60 power, but it's still pretty good. Still a pretty good move. Uh, if I catch any Pokemon that can learn it, I'll use it. I think Xavier can now, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna wait. Let's see, just in case. Because like I said, Diglett can learn Dig without a TM, which is pretty cool. And this tree can be cut, but I don't have the TM for cut yet. And, I, and truthfully, I forget where the TM for cut is. Yeah, that sounds bad, but yeah. Usually you just find it when you talk to people. Um... Oh wait, no, I remember where you get cut now. You get it from... Yeah, never mind. That, that'll be a later time, though. And you come down here, and there's a house. Who would live in a place like this? Well, no one other than the Pokemon... Hey, where am I going now? The Pokemon Daycare Service Man. Um, yeah. But I can, I'm can. i perfectly capable of raising my own Pokemon, even though I kind of lost to Misty. But that's beside the point. And you find Pokemon in this grass, obviously. And, uh, okay, Pidgey, that's, that's okay, I guess. Might as well let Karen attack and defeat it so that she can level up. She's actually getting pretty high up there in levels, though, but... Actually, I should probably take her out front, and I forgot to heal up Jack. That's not good. Oh. Yeah, I'll just... Yes. I'll use a super potion on him, just so that I can get it over with. Um, next up we can find a Meowth, which I actually like Meowth, and I liked Meowth even before the anime when they gave him the voice, but I don't think I'm going to catch one, because I have bigger fish to fry here. I'm just showing you the Pokemon I can find, which is another Pidgey, but I don't want him. And another Meowth. But, like I said, I won't get one just because, meh. No big deal. Uh, you can also find a J you can also find a bunch of Jigglypuff, which I wouldn't catch either, which is why I didn't thoroughly look for one, but I'm just like, you know, you can find Jigglypuff in that grass there. And apparently the road is closed, which every I think every Pokemon game has at least one of those places. And she wants a Nidoran male for a Nidoran female, which is about the most pointless thing I've ever heard. Hey, I'll give you a male for a female, even though they're like the same thing, except one turns into a Nido King and one turns into a Nido Queen, but... Whatever. Um, that... The underground path is kind of pointless, unless you have, uh... The item finder, because... You can find items, obviously. And if we try to go up here, we get the same result as the last guy. He's just like, oh, I'm thirsty, roads closed, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah. I think this is a good enough episode for now. Um, yeah, next time we're going to go to Vermilion City. Which has some actually pretty amazing music. So, until next time, I've been Dark Young Link. See you guys later.